Hey everyone, and welcome back to They Said What with Mamas Uncut, where we talk about some of the celebrity articles we have covered on our website. Again, we got Lisa and Mindy. You guys ready to talk some celeb gossip? Do it. Hello, everybody. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about Carson Wentz. So recently, Carson Wentz and his wife are expecting their second child. And he is, you know, the quarterback for the Colts. And she's like, they're on baby watch. Do any day now which it could happen on a Sunday when he's supposed to be playing football. Now, there are a lot of football players and athletes who choose to be at the birth of their children before uh, a sporting event, should it correlate. He said no. He already told his wife he'll, he'll come meet her after the game. If, if she's in labor during the game on Sunday, sorry, you're doing it on your own. Thoughts? Okay, so... I would be at my football game, even though I'm the person popping out the kid. So, so, You'd so be like there that's having the baby. Got it. What? You'd so, be there. So like, having the baby. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, like that's my perspective. Um, and so, as the mom having the baby, there is, like, if I'm close, if I'm like ready to go, I'd be like, you got to get here. But. Yeah. If I'm going into labor and I know I've got a couple of hours ahead of me or many hours ahead of me because my kids were never coming out, give me the remote. I'm going to watch the game from the room. Get here when you can. Yeah. You well, know? you do bring up the Please point. miss the team meeting at the end, but go to the yeah. game. Yeah. Because you can, I mean, there are certain things with labor. Sometimes it's really quick and it happens and you just like have the baby very quickly, right? That's how yeah. it happens in movies. But most of the time, it's not like that. Most of the time, you, there can be some things to speed up labor if you want to. Like if she's in labor on a Saturday, they could possibly speed up the labor and have her have her baby on Saturday. But here's the thing. I just have, I have issues with this. I'm not a huge football fan. Okay, Lisa, <laughs> granted. But um, I, I just, I think of other professions and how ridiculous it would be if they, if they were like, I'm going to miss the birth of my child because I've got to go. To a meeting um, somebody's court. taxes yeah. need to be done it's april 15th like someone someone else can do your job like you're replaceable everybody is yeah. replaceable yes so that's why i'm like get that second string tell him to lace up because there's a good chance that i could be missing a sunday or something even yeah. taking time to be with your child and having some paternity leave afterwards i don't think is ridiculous for any profession including a professional athlete yeah. there i said it no look you're you're totally right and in every other job this wouldn't even come up as a question yeah well I mean think of like a police officer right there's lots of like jobs that are intense and you have to be there at a certain time and well you know I just I I take it a step further I say he takes the time off afterwards he takes seven days and misses two games possibly (laughs) so look I'm a huge football fan and I could see if I were a Colts fan then I would be like when do you need to be there however (laughs) If it were Tom Brady and Giselle were having a kid, oh. get Tom Brady missing the birth of his child because his team has potential to make it to the playoffs. The Colts are four and five. Yes, they're second in the AFC, but they're playing the Jacksonville Jaguars, who are third in the AFC, but are two and six. Hey, Dan, you just broke down football. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now I'm all caught up. But you. <laughs> Playing in this game is not dire for your team to really get anywhere. Yep. So, so that is, that is a huge um, perspective as well. Yeah. So for me, the fact that you're choosing this game over being at your kid's birth when your team has a losing record, I think that's what rubs me the wrong way. Now, if you were undefeated seven and one, six and two, where a win is very huge to getting you to the playoffs, then I can, I can better adjust that in my mind. What Uh, if it's a playoff game? If it's a playoff game, you gotta go. You gotta go to the game. You You guys hash it out because you know what's in my mind. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So if you're you're there for your wife while she's pushing a baby out of herself. Considering it's a week 10. I have pushed babies out. I know. I know you have, which is it's just shocking to me. I just yeah, consider I would not be okay with this. And you're playing a very bad team and your backup could probably beat the Jacksonville Jaguars. 
I would be at the birth of my child. So I would add one other thing to that, which is, um, look, there's this thing called induction, which yeah. I mm-hmm. had done twice because they were never exiting my body. Like, so you can, you can schedule to some degree yeah. this baby's arrival. And so like go in on, on Friday, you know, if, if you haven't delivered yet, I would say Wednesday. Okay, fine. fine. I've gone in on Friday and had a baby on Monday before. So yeah. don't, I would not recommend that. You know, but anytime <laughs> after 37 or 38 weeks, <laughs> be organized yeah. so he can go to the game. Yeah. And that's the happy medium. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to send us over your questions so we can answer them here. Bye.